so here we are in the first stage of Dr. Wily's castle, which I also think is known as Skull Castle. I'm not really sure which one it is, but, you know, close enough, I guess. So we have plenty of these bird things, and I have quite a bit of trouble with them in this run. I don't know, it's just uh, missing a lot. Unfortunately, the rest of the stage goes a lot more smoothly. Of course, I'm starting to abuse the shit out of the Metal Blade at this point. It is the end of the game. And as usual, this is normal mode we're starting off with first. In fact, I Metal Blade like everything. I think it's because I barely used it <laughs> in the normal game. Like if on the eight robot masters, I think I got him later than I usually do. So I have to get it out of my system here. It's really better to use the bubble lead on them, or perhaps the air shooter. But the metal blade does work well enough. One thing we have to watch in Dr. Wily's castle is the fact that you do not get weapon energy back between levels. So you really have to be, be careful about how you pick things up and what you pick up. That's why you'll see me checking my inventory every so often to see what weapon needs energy. I don't know what the hell I was doing there. You can usually gauge the amount of caffeine I have in my system by how, like, frantically I push buttons on the, uh, menu. I don't know why, I'm just, like, way too twitchy sometimes. Uh, for the menu screens in video games. Of course, we have these guys. Best off just running past them. I think I even stopped to taunt them there for a moment. Now we're coming up on what I think is one of the coolest moments in at least 8-bit gaming history. If you've played this game before, you know what I'm talking about. Wait for it. Oh, there he is, the Dragon Boss. Really awesome stuff. I used to hold my breath when playing this game on, on the cartridge because it would often crash when the Dragon Boss would pop up. I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with the cart. I'm pretty sure I bought it used. That was something else I didn't know, is the atomic fire works on him. I used to use the quick boomerangs exclusively. But, in normal mode it works well enough that you can hit him with it and kill him quickly. I think I mostly use the boomerangs on difficult though. I don't really remember, or maybe I used a combination. The problem with the atomic fire is it takes so long for it to charge up that it's almost not worth using if you can't take the boss out in a couple hits. Like that one shot kill on Woodman was well worth it. But using it on him twice, it's, it's kind of like, oh man, <laughs> great. You know, you could probably just hurl a few hundred metal blades his way in that time. And I don't know, for some reason I'm doing really well here on difficult. I got sloppy on normal in this run. Usually like the normal run is the one that's a lot cleaner. I think that caffeine really was kicking in on normal. I had, I had a little too much that day. I did screw this up a bit. Although that doesn't really matter. Of course, I <laughs> Metal Blade this guy again. Almost not worth using it on hard mode as you can see though. Because he'll just eat them like candy. That's one of the things when I was playing, uh, the first time I played this, well, did a let's play of it, and I played it on difficult, 
I was kind of like underwhelmed by the metal blades, really, to some extent. But I guess that's because the enemies are just so much more durable. I think they, they just kind of applied like a, a global patch to the game in, uh, in normal mode that like doubled the damage from everything or something. Because difficult was the original game. And that global patch, it really kind of had strange effects on how certain weapons and mechanics behave. So you'll have like a weapon like atomic fire that can destroy Woodman in a single hit. Or the metal blades that are like generally effective against most things most of the time. It was a really strange uh, byproduct of the patch they used. And here I psych myself up <laughs> to fight with the dragon. Because this is going to be noticeably more difficult. Okay, so I do use the atomic fire on him. I recorded this like maybe three or four days ago, so I don't rightly remember everything. Actually, it might have been five days ago. Now that I think about it, it was a while ago. Yeah, so we're going to nail him with a couple of them. I actually let, let that one go too soon. I just said, screw it. I'm <laughs> going with the quick boomerangs. They work well enough. As you can see, they, they're actually a little more efficient. And so yeah, that's it for this episode. After this, we're going to move on to the next stage, which is a little bit of a respite, actually. Especially when you consider what's coming up Towards the end of his castle here, it gets a lot rougher. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, guys. I have to let my dog inside. I hear him out there crying. Uh, that's He's uh, <laughs> he's a very emotional dog. So I'm going to let him in before he gets too upset. So once again, thanks for watching. I will be back with more. And until next time, good luck and happy gaming.